<laughs> okay, I always feel really cheesy at the beginning of these because it shows me live and there's this like a huge delay uh, before it notifies you that I'm actually live. But I am live because it says I'm live. So hello there, how are you this morning, this afternoon? Let me know where you're tuning in from. Um, okay, I got my first viewer, so it's it's real live time now. So crazy busy mama here, not with cooking, but with some daily inspo. Cause I think from the, honestly, I got so many messages on my stories yesterday. I had a screw up, like an epic fail. Everybody have an epic fail? Have you ever had an epic fail, Quentin? Just one. Just one. I don't even really wanna know what that one is cause I'm afraid to ask. Okay, so if you've ever failed in your life, please put it in the chat. You don't have to share what that is, but I think we all can relate to failure in life. And um, sometimes it's just gaining new perspective on it and realizing that failure is really failing your way forward. And so I have this little frame because this is part of the story. So for those of you that messaged me, I'm gonna have a seat here. For those of you that have messaged me and said, hey, I want that, that poem, I want that script in hand, we're gonna share it live today and then I'll just take a picture and put it in my stories. Maybe try to put it here in the comments too. So if you're tuning in, let me know that you're on, please. Let me know where you're tuning in from because you know I always do something fun at the end of the day on my live videos. So if this is something that's been helpful for you, please share that. And I think last week when I went live, I think it was on Thursday, and talked about my, um, terrible, not so good, rotten day. Um, people related to that. It wasn't my typical live where I was um, bubbly, but it was an opportunity for you to kind of see an inside look to my life and how real life is sometimes and how I have learned to um, overcome those bad moments and realizing that having a bad moment doesn't mean you have a bad life. Okay, so can you give a little bit of a, a kind of a view if you will, if they didn't see my stories, if you're not following my stories, you, you can still catch that because it's a lot. But can you kind of get a review of what you walked into yesterday? Well, what you don't see behind is this, there's a ring light back here. Well, you can kind of see the glare right there. Because uh, in the world of social influence, creating whatever label you want to give that, um, there's so much funniness that happens behind what you're actually seeing. Yeah. And it's, it's so ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. So I'm constantly, uh, we're always laughing and making fun of each other because of the things that you're doing to set up lighting to make things a, a picture. It's of like a movie desserts production. Look funny. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. not it's, to get a good quality. It's picture. like a redneck movie production. Anyway, it really, it is. The uh, so I walk in. I was just actually didn't walk in. I was sitting in there, and you were in here, and then I just hear this giant crash and this. Ah! <laughs> I literally screamed. And I was like, well, "Are you all right?" <laughs> and so I turn around, and the light had crashed down. She had this whole big, nice little charcuterie board really dessert thing also so cute, perfect yeah. and pretty. And she's all up here taking pictures of it. <laughs> um, Satan you know, though, threw um, that light down on top of your head. And so uh, it was funny. It could have been so much worse because so how it landed. Yeah, it actually laid it around the Around the, the light broke into a bunch of pieces. Anyway, yeah, so she's yeah, in the yeah. middle of like, <clears throat> It's funny, like, you know how you, um, if you have kids, like when you start to get on to your kids when they're in the middle of do something wrong, and it's like they build up to like. Uh, yeah, ah! yeah well, that's how it felt. It was starting. And so I just started laughing. I was like, wait, hold, don't move. We gotta take a picture of this. We gotta take a video of this because people wanna see like real life failures, like crazy busy mom and crazy busy fail. That's and right. So, and I get a lot of messages, Quentin, and I share it with you too. And I want to be really vulnerable with you. Um, I get a lot of messages from people that say, how do you have it all so put together? How does your house look perfect all the time? How do you X, Y, Z perfectly? And I'm like, we don't. if you only had that's seen right. like Nothing. on the other side of the camera, that's right. you know? And so that's kind of the inside perspective of what we're going to talk about is what, what it looks like on the other side, you know? I didn't know that's what we were going to well, talk about, it, but it kind of is. that it's was my lead into this. Yes. So what happened was the light fell. She's about ready to have a meltdown. She was trying to get a bunch mm -hmm. done. And listen, if you're ha if you're enjoying the story, by the way, you know, give us some positive, yeah, uh, some hearts, like some hearts. thumbs ups, and those, let's just know that you're like engaged in what we're saying. Share this because um, what we're going to talk about is not quitting. All right, and so I think that's what we're going to talk about. Yeah. And if you know someone that could benefit from a story about not quitting, we're two knuckleheads here. We've been married how many years? Twenty-three years. We've been together twenty-eight <laughs> years. Uh, we've had a lot of opportunity to quit. Yes. We're still going. Yes. So uh, don't quit. And the story behind don't quit is this. So I, I the, the the light fell. 
crashed. She's welling up. So I walk into the office, and we've had this in her office for well, since we've been here. here. We've lived here for how long? Eleven since 2012. So ten, ten or eleven years. Yeah. Yeah, Anyway, and so um, this little poem. I was huge into student government when I was in school uh, leadership. and so I was constantly, uh, I did student announcements in the morning. And so I was always looking for ways to you motivate Ella. people. Ella was me. Yeah. And so um, I used this poem I found. It's called Don't Quit a long time ago. Anyway, um, I used it in student government. I used it a lot for those types of motivating situations. And it's a good poem. But I had written her a card a long time ago. Yeah. And I, I admit to you, I don't remember the situation. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, I think I do. You do? Yeah. And so that would be another yes, whole yeah. entire life. Of but course the, you remember The card with this poem that you had put in was I had all these dreams and goals of going to be a music major in college. Yeah. And you were a music major. I, in college. Well, I was a music major in college, but the school that I wananted to go to oh, yeah. that I introduced yeah. him to. All right, I remember now. I didn't have the opportunity I to remember do. Now. And so I was devastated because yeah. my boyfriend yeah. and my best friend at the time both were going to that college. At the time? Well, yeah, at the time. And um, <laughs> not anymore. No, Just I'm not saying it that way. I'm not saying it that way. You're not my boyfriend. I mean, you're I, not my I'm boyfriend, kidding. but I'm you're kidding. my husband. I'm, I'm, I'm anyway, y'all were going to the college that I had my heart set on that I introduced both of you to. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I felt like the opportunity was like taken from me. Yeah. Do you ever feel like that, friends? Like, give me some hearts. Let me know if. If you feel like you see everybody else winning and you feel like you're the only loser, you feel like you're the only one that's failing, not as in Lori, but loser. Like if you, if you feel like you're the only one that's not getting ahead in life, like, let me know if you feel that. And that's why I wanted to talk to you all because that was the, that was the setting for the card was like, Hey, don't quit. Even though you're not, you're not going where I'm going. You're not, you know, don't quit. You still have a path that you're paving. And I want you to know that very strong message too, but from the messages that I get behind the scenes, I think y'all think that my life is perfect and it's not, it's not. I go through life a lot where I'm very frustrated or circumstances aren't the way they need to be, but I continue to keep striving forward regardless of. And um, so anyway, Don't Quit is the name of the poem. Hey Quentin, will you read it? To us, or go ahead and let me finish the story. Yeah, please. So I, so the light crashes on her. She's about, she's welling up. She's about to have a meltdown. And yeah. I, so I walked into the office and I grabbed the phone and I was like, I was like, just remember, don't quit. And she's like, uh, she, yeah, she started to laugh, cry. I don't know, is that a thing? Yeah. I actually women listen. have this magical ability to laugh, cry. Yeah. I don't. Guys don't have a laugh, cry. So um, she was laugh, crying. And mm-hmm. so then I read the poem to her, which is a poem that I gave to her. She cut out and kept the card 20, I don't know, 22 ish. 20 something years, years ago, right? And I still Actually have it. Longer than that. Yeah, we still right. have it. Anyway, because um, <laughs> the, the poem starts off, at, you know, in life, when things go wrong, as they sometimes will, uh-huh. that's the beginning of the poem. Yep. And crash, you're setting up this whole scene. And she's, <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to read the poem to you. Um, Because I read it yesterday, but I don't remember if that made it to the thing. I did make it to my stories, but then it cut off because you were going to tell us about it. So, go ahead. Author unknown. The poem is called Don't Quit. When things go wrong as they sometimes will. When the life you are trudging seems all uphill. When the funds are low and the debts are high. And you want to smile, but you have to sigh or cry. cry. When care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint of the clouds of doubt. And you can never tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems afar. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's when things go wrong that That you you mustn't mustn't quit. quit. And so the poem is called, I, Authors Unknown, the poem is called Don't, Don't Quit. Quit. It's a kind of a fun little cheesy, I know yeah. it's cheesy story between these two goofies, um, but we've had this poem in our house for years. Yeah. And again, back in our dating life, I shared it with her, used that back in high school. We're, yep. we're in our mid 40s, so that'll date us. Um, so the encouragement to you today is um, life is going to kick your butt. And uh, those who persevere and keep going, are the ones that ultimately find success, whatever that means. Yeah. And success is different for different folks. Sometimes success is as simple as just completing the task. Yeah, or the right? day. Yeah, or the day. Or, or the day. Getting in bed and going to sleep. Yes. So uh, anyway, that's my story. I yeah. don't quit. I don't know what else you had. Well, point, so. and I think, again, it's a resounding ideal that 
that most of us feel like quitting. You know what I mean? Because we think that that's just the easiest way. But friends, when you quit, you take so much away from the inside of you um, that that breaks down your confidence in yourself. So every time that you sign up to do something and you quit, every time that you step forward in faith and you back up, every time you say you're going to do something and you back out on that commitment and you quit on it. Yeah. It's, you know, some people would say, ah, oh, it's not a big deal. You just quit. But every quit starts to compound on the next quit, on the next quit, and the next quit. And then you just become, a you quitter. feel like a quitter. And you feel like you never stick with your commitments. Even the little commitments. I know I've made a joke before and I'll say it again. But sometimes it's creating a menu for your family and actually sticking to the menu. And I know that sounds really silly. But when your kids are little especially, they look forward to your mac and cheese night. You know? And if all of a sudden you had it on the board on Tuesday and you change it to chili and it's their worst meal ever, then, you know, you really kind of dampen that whole mood, but it's about, and that's just a silly example, but it's about sticking to the commitments that you've committed to, not to just towards other people. I think it's easier because of the external kind of pressure. If I've committed to somebody else, they're going to call me out. I'm going to have to show up, but it's just more of a don't quit in a regard of not quitting on yourself. There are many times that I want to quit. There are many times that I pursue something and I get discouraged. And if you can relate to this, share this, give me some hearts, let me know. And you know what? I just tell myself, it's just the moment. It's just temporary feeling. And there's such a great piece of advice here that kind of goes along with this that you can steal I, my I'm, I'm going to, no, I'm going to ask you to say it. And I didn't prompt him or I didn't prepare him for this, but he just texted our son this very thing. What is that? I said, don't make permanent decisions on temporary emotions. So mm -hmm. one of the biggest mistakes that we make in life, all of us, all of us are guilty of this from when we're yeah. younger to our grade. We make permanent decisions, quitting on a temporary emotion. So I get emotional. We all get emotional. We all get filled up with whatever, anger, fear, rage, hate, love, gooey, whatever it is, right? And we make this long-term decisions on temporary emotions. Don't do it. I told him, I said, uh, uh, he was talking about a friend and they were talking about sports and I told him, I said, look, one of my top 10, I talked to my kids about top 10 things, you know, goals in life and rules of life. Um, and I said to him exactly, I said, top 10 rule, life rule, don't make permanent decisions on temporary emotions. And Lori's like, yes, that's agree, exactly agree, right. Agree. I'm like a resounding agree because it's so true friends. When you quit on those things, you know, cause your emotions are this right? What's steady is the commitment, your faithfulness, your, uh, your, uh, consistent discipline is what is steady in life. And so if you are constantly pulled by your emotions, this is the life that you're going to We are all live. pulled by our emotions. So it's, it's the, that delicate balance of controlling your emotions and, let, and letting your emotions control you. We all lose that game every single every, minute of the day, yeah, right? But you have to let logic rule yes. over emotion ultimately right and we're, again you're gonna fail at this all the time like we all fail especially in parenting right like you, it's you know, so hard about ready to, uh, you just, when you bark think you got your kid ah! yeah just when you think you've got to figure it out it changes up yeah. your circumstances change your kid goes through puberty your your mm. social circles are different your you know it's just every time you think you figure it out <coughs> something switches up and so I just want to be an encouragement to you today that if you feel like quitting, maybe this is the right here, right now word for you. Maybe you're not catching this live because of coincidence, but it's by divine intervention that God put you here for such a time as this to know from Quentin and Lori to not quit. Whatever you're pursuing, keep pursuing. It may feel like you're going the opposite direction. It may feel like you're going uphill, like it talks about. It may feel like you're going against the flow, friends. But when you start to trudge uphill, it's hard. When you're swimming against the flow, guess what happens? You start to build new muscles. And guess what happens? You start to build confidence. When you do something new and you stick with it, you build confidence and confidence builds on confidence. But also quitting. <laughs> Quitting does the same thing. It builds on quitting. So I'm going to encourage you today to not quit. When things go wrong, as they, they sometimes, sometimes will. <laughs> will, come on. I'm sorry. <laughs> With like your truth. I'll, 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 I'll uphill. uphill. See, when I've the funds a few are times. low yeah. and the debts are high. That's right. When you want to smile, but you have, have to, to sigh, sigh or, cry. or cry. When care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but, but don't, don't you quit. quit. Success is a failure turned inside out. The silver tint of the clouds of doubt. And you can never tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems so afar. So stick the fight when it's the hardest hit. Yeah?
If when things go wrong, you mustn't, you mustn't quit. quit. Please don't quit, friends. Don't quit. It digs on that self-confidence, and I want you to live a life full of abundance. Share this video, and when you hop on, tell us where you're from. We always like to see where yes. everybody's from. So when you hop on and join and, and check this out, even if it's a replay, yeah. show us where you're watching from, because yeah, we always like do. to see where you're at. And I'll do something fun, a little giveaway later tonight. So make sure you comment below and share this live. And Are you going to do quit. something fun as I try to turn the camera off? No, I want to watch it fall again. Oh, no, 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 no. And you have a meltdown. Which, <gasps> which that does happen sometimes. All right, friends. Love you. Thank you. Have a happy Wednesday.